Today I'm gonna to show you how to take beautiful street portraits on the streets. I mean, it is in the name. All you need is a street. So if you have a street where you are, and maybe you live in Japan, that's, that's all you need. Today I'll be using the 24 to 70 lens with my Canon 5D Mark IV, along with a polarizer filter. The link will be in the, in the description if you'd like to grab one. So this is the setup today. First thing I look for when I'm location scouting, when I'm doing street photos is colors and textures. And this one in particular, this beautiful blue color stood out to me. I like the texture and I feel like something like this, you can find it really anywhere. So you go, you see the cemented walls, you see the tiles, just look for something interesting. Thankfully, the store is closed, so we're gonna be able to uh, get all the shots we want. And the sun is out, so that's great for me. No purse, can I take no. this for you? Who wants? You're gonna have it, you have a purse today. Omiyagi this. And I'm also getting a little bit more of the scenery too. Just to, so that we can see where she is. Because if it's too close, then what you're, if it's too close, then you're just gonna get this texture. And I mean, that is nice, but getting the sign and everything else kind of adds to the photo, especially since we're doing street pictures. It's all about being on the streets. Good job. So I had our model, Manami, just stand right here. So we get a little bit of that light coming through. We have side light now, instead of being in the shade. So again, this is about shooting street style. We want what's happening in the background to show in our pictures. So I'm kind of shooting a little bit low angle for these. Right, that means good? Okay, just making sure, I want to praise her, but I want to make sure she knows. Yes, I love that, Hi, like this, yeah. Love that. And again, I'm getting that environment. The apartments, I'm shooting upwards, low angle. Let's cross the street. Let's, do, oh, there's the police, there's, poli there's the police? Oh my God. Okay, we don't want the police. The police, just act natural. Don't act suspicious. Oh, they just gave me eye contact. Okay. Eye contact. <laughs> they gave me eye contact. They looked at me. Oh God, that's fine. We didn't get arrested. Okay, let's have you stand like right here. Do some portraits right here. Can you do one piece of hair to the back and then? Right. Yes. Yes, perfect. So I usually shoot my portraits horizontal and then I crop them later in Photoshop. I find that shooting horizontal works for me. I do shoot, I also shoot vertical when I need to, but horizontal works for me, which I will do right now. And then could we do one maybe sitting down? Suete, suete imos. Suari mas go. Suari mas. Okay, maybe here? Here? Yes, maybe. Yes, let's see if that, yeah, yes. And then maybe like bring your, yeah, let me see, yeah, let's see. Yeah, that, yeah, that's cool. This is a cool spot. Okay, so we have beautiful light, we have the colors, we have green, we have orange, we have some texture in the back. I'm not gonna get hit by a car today. Yeah, this is a cool shot right here. Let's do your, relax your arm a little bit, maybe like, yes, right here, yes. Uh, great, just bring the other hand, maybe right here, yes. Love this setup so far. And now the sun is coming out even stronger right now. And then maybe st stay here once this bus, once this bus comes. Okay, your legs out just a little bit. Hi. Yes, perfect. And lean back. Yes, hi. You can do something like you put your hand, yes. Yes, those are great. Good job. Good job. There they And now the sun is gone again. These are awesome. Okay, I definitely am loving these. Using a wide angle lens is really great for this because I am able to get all of, like if I was shooting with a 50, 
I would still be able to get something nice, but not capture the environment. But again, because we're doing street portraits, it's really helpful to have a, a zoom lens so you have the, the variety. And now I'm doing close up portraits. Lift your chin, yeah, hi. Great. Go away, Destiny. Let's go to, there's another location that I want to shoot at. It's this restaurant. Maybe we'll get kicked out, maybe not. But I guess we'll find out, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ikimashou. Ikimashou. I found this area with those, uh, there's like these colored crates. I think it would be nice for pictures. Okay, here we go. All right, let's have you. Right here. With these crates. And there's no light over here, so I have to bump up my ISO just a little bit. See, but now I gotta figure out, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Trying to get, yes, those are great. Is she with us? Getting in a little closer. I definitely want the crates to show, but it won't be the main focus of the photo. Yeah, those are great with your, with your hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great job. Love that. <laughs> yes. Just kind of switching it up a little with my angles here. Great job. And then maybe we could do one where you're like bent down maybe. Love that. Great job, love that. Again, I am trying to get more of the environment. But the model is filling up most of the frame. Love that, great job. So good. Good? You me. You can say this. Great job. And looking out this way, look here. Okay, good. We've completed this area. Okay, see, I mean, you can find really any spot and take some cool pictures. Anywhere that there's colors, that's what I gravitate towards. But I also be careful of what she's wearing because that could also affect how the pictures turn out. Let's see where else we could go. See, that's kind of boring. See, okay. I'll show you guys an example of somewhere I wouldn't necessarily shoot, for instance, the stairs. You know, you see the stairs, you think, oh, these are, I mean, it's cute. It's a nice area, but there's nothing, it's a little boring. The colors are boring, textures are a little boring. I look for something with like a pop of color. So let's keep moving and find something else. And the place. All right. See, I'm not seeing anything crazy over here that I'm liking. All right. I mean, this could be the orange. orange. I, don't, I don't mind it. Let's do a few here. This could be interesting. It's interesting. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. I like the orange. We want the orange in here. Okay, let's try to do something a bit more low angle. Great job. Love that. Love the posing. Can you have the, the maybe down? Yeah. 
even, yeah, you can take. Where's Masaki? Masaki, Masaki san. <laughs> we got you. You need to put your friends to work. So, okay. thank you. Presento. <laughs> Presento. It's a present for you. Thank you so much. Okay. My wing. Yes. And then also, I do want to shoot in front of this red place. Could we do a walking shot here? If you're walking like this, like that. This one's going to be um, very tricky. Okay, are you ready? Jumbi yeah. desu ka? Just got to keep going back and forth. You just got to be paparazzi in this moment. That's the only way this is going to work. Okay, go ahead. You're doing very good. Good? Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Ooh, sweetest. Hot? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing this. But... Many moving. Yes, a lot of moving. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Do it one more time and go. And then walk towards me. And then walk towards me. Okay. Did you say the cops are coming? Oh, okay. I'm like, everywhere I look, I'm like, is it the police? Walking shot part two. Go ahead. Great, and can you, um, Coco on a guy she wants, right? And I do love the colors. I think the colors are really cool at this shop. Like lift your chin up a little and then turn a little bit to the side, yes. Bring your hands in, yeah. Yeah, those are, yeah, that's great, yes. Something like that, yeah. Beautiful, the colors are working wonderfully. Yes, stay right there. And then just fix the hair a little. Yes. Ego Josu Yeah. Yes, you, she understands everything. Uh, no. Everything I tell you, she's like, yeah, and she does it. Just a little You? No, I don't believe it. She's being modest. You're being modest. And we'll do a few more here. Yeah, start right here. Sweat, sweat, sweat it. Swate. Swate. What is it? Swate. I don't know. What is it? What did I say? Swate. 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 What did I say? Swate. What is it? Can you just stop speaking Japanese? Okay. Never mind. Just don't listen to me. Kiki masen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore everything I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, I saw this hose on the floor with the orange. One other thing that you could do is, depending on what the model is wearing, you can find spots that complement the colors of the outfit that, again, that the model is wearing. So, uh, Manami is wearing something navy, and I found something that's orange that would complement those colors. Complementary color wheel is definitely a really good tool for photographers. You create really interesting photos visually, so we're gonna take a few shots here and I want to make sure that this I want to make sure this thing is not coming out of her head because sometimes that happens I'm learning not swat okay I'm learning we're trying out here we're trying or maybe you could be leaning like sitting this way yeah and then like leaning yeah or like leaning that way yeah yeah yeah, that's cute. It always takes a bit of revision to get a good, a good looking shot, no matter where you are. So I had her move a few times here until I finally found the pose and the, look, the spot that I want her in. Great, even like have your hands like this high. Love that, good job. And then let's have you looking out this way, yeah. And then relax, have your leg out, yeah. Yes, relax. just like leaning, yeah, you're just bored, yeah. We're just revising how she already is posed. And bring your leg out just a little bit, yeah. Love that, have your hand maybe like right here, yes. I love the foot on this, eat this. <laughs> and then move up, yeah, get up like this. Hi, hi, ah, I love, eat this, I love that. 
but just maybe with your hand, yeah. Love this pose. And again, we're just, what I'm having her do is we're in the same spot, but she's just varying her poses so we don't just do one pose and that's it. And I find that each pose is getting better and better. You're, do you know that you're amazing? Music. Amazing. Amazing. Oh. No, you, I know. Anata. Amazing. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How do I say amazing in Japanese? Amazing. Uh, you're the best. Amazing. Subarashi. Subarashi. Totimo. Subarashi. Totimo subarashi. We're following the sun. It's out now, and we're gonna do some backlit portraits. And um, yeah, that's all we're gonna do right now. This is gonna be a little difficult because sometimes it's hard to focus. I'm just moving back and forth so that the sun can appear in different parts of my photo. A zoom lens is really helpful with this, I'm not gonna lie, because I can just zoom in to block out parts of the sun so I can still get the flare, but the sun won't be fully in the photo. Shooting backlit is actually super hard. Oh, so cool. Can you like be looking this way? Yeah. Very cool. Very good. Can you be sta like standing f more facing? Yeah. Like, like a little bit? Yeah. I don't mind the people in the back. Maybe if people are walking, that can make the photo look cooler. Um, can you stand a little bit? Can you come right here. Yes. Just trying to get like a good sun flare in this. I would definitely recommend a zoom lens for street photography. Don't get me wrong, I love my portrait lens, I love my prime lenses, but zoom is gonna give you that range when you're shooting on the street. So I'm using the 24 to 70 right now, and I actually have on a CPL filter because it's stuck and I can't remove it, so I kinda have to shoot with it, I have no choice, but um, I'm not mad. I am mad that it's not coming off, but I'm not mad because it still looks good. So I'm just looking at where the sunlight is. That's really what I'm after here. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Stay right there. Stay like that. Love that. Good job. Stay right there. Put your chin up just a little. Yes. Okay, so we ended up here accidentally, but it works. So I'm just gonna have my enemy go like this. And just moving from where you're shooting. So I'm shooting completely backlit. And then if I move this way, it's more side light. So just switching up where you are is also helpful. You don't need to necessarily move the model. You could just move yourself. Maybe have your hand, yes, just like that. And I do like the light hitting her face. Yes, just like that. We got some really nice shots here with the light, and I'm gonna try to go to maybe one more location. Where, where did you learn English? Uh, ego ego. Uh, when I was high school student. Oh. Uh, I'm just following this trail of light. I'm having her stand right here. Again, finding good light is very important, at least to me when I'm shooting street style because it illuminates the model, it gives dimension to the photo. It's always nice to play with light. Shooting in shade can be very boring. So try to find some nice light. And if all else fails, bring a flash. You can bring a flash, you can use a filter, do something cool. And let's do portraits. 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 Let's do some portraits right here. But I definitely want some more light. There we go, you, you see it? Okay. You guys, the light makes all the difference. So let me show you guys, if you stand right here, the light on her face, I'll take a picture to show you guys what difference good lighting makes. So this is, she's a bit uh, in the shade. So I'll take this photo. Hold on one second. Okay, and then I'm gonna have Manami move right here into the light and I'll show you guys what difference that made. already such a huge difference. That color with her jacket, her skin tone, her lipstick. I love the makeup. 
Very nice. Makeup? Makeup? Nice. Eat this, man. Self make. <laughs> ah, you're so good. Eat this, man. She's so talented. She's a talented woman. All right, try not to get my own shadow in this. Bring your shoulder in just a little bit. Yeah. Tell us your name and how long you've been modeling for. Onamaiwa? <laughs> Onamaiwa? Uh, my name is Manami Kitano. Model, modeling, modeling, nansai uh, desu ka? Uh, 24 years old. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, and how long have you been modeling? How, how long has she been modeling? Uh, modeling? Modeling, uh... Five years ago, I started modeling. Last question. Neko ga imasu ka? Neko? Neko ga? Cat? Uh, no, uh, uh, my family have a cat. Onamai wa? Mugi-chan. Mugi? Mugi-chan. Mugi-chan. Mm -hmm. Mugi oh, go on. <laughs> Neko ga daisuki desu ka? Yes. Neko daisuki desu. I like cat, but... I have cat allergy, so uh, cat. Mm, uh, I'm. Okay, <laughs> start I love that. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's it. Oh, what are you guys?